Welcome to another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talk here at VMworld Europe. I have the pleasure um, to have Jose, Jose here with me. Jose, do you mind uh, introducing yourself quickly? Yep, sure. I'm Jose Gomez. I'm working in UK for Computer Center and I'm a Cloud Technical Architect. Thank you. Well, I have to be honest, I've read, you, I've read recently your, your blog about RPI uh, project and I was really impressed. Do you mind sharing a bit, bit more details about what you did and why you did it and how did it work? Yep, sure. I had uh, I purchased a new home lab, and I said, okay, I want to power on the home lab only when I need it because maybe I need to do some demo to some customer. And I said, okay, how can I do it without buy some expensive PDU to control remotely? I said, okay, I have a, an RPI. Why not to buy some remote control socket that you can plug on your wall? And I said, okay, let's do it that way. So at the end, I took my old ras Raspberry Pi. I installed a VPN client, I installed a remote control, and I just needed to connect through the VPN and power on my home lab. So how does the Alexa play any role in this? Because that was the most exciting part for me. Well, I got later a present from some friends with Alexa, and I said, OK, now I need to learn this new technology, you know, Lambda and functions. How can I leverage the power of Alexa? OK, let's try to power on the lab through Alexa. So at the end, I developed uh, Alexa skill that you are able to power on your home lab saying, Alexa, power on the home lab. This is so cool, guys. I'm sure like a lot of people who have home labs should do the same thing. It's so easy and uh, fun thing to, to use, don't you think? Yes, yes, it's really easy because at the end you have a huge community that the people they are sharing all the functions that they are doing. And at the end, all of us that we work on this IT, we have the same kind of requirement. Have our home lab, maybe not running 24 per 7, but we just need to power on when we need it. Even you can see that other vendors, no? they are starting to use Alexa to spin up new storage, like NetApp or something like that, so it's pretty cool. Absolutely, I agree. I think, I think more people should try and experiment on a project like this. Um, speaking about Alexa, what do you think about the Internet of Things? I mean, there's so many cool projects going on and new products and so on. So tell me about your perspective on the industry and the new, new developments. Well, I have been working with IoT for a long time, but I moved later to cloud and I will say that it's quite exciting because at the end, I will say that makes the life easier to the people. At the end, you have a huge of amount of things that you can do with IoT. You can get report from them. You can know uh, even some of the projects that I have been working on, no? the collection of the garbage that you define every day on flight, the new route for the track, so they don't need to go to some empty uh, bin. They just go to the busy ones, and it's pretty cool. And I think that more and more we will see the people adopting IoT. Maybe the people that they don't, don't understand so much technology, they feel scared, no? Like, hey, you can know everything about me, if I'm moving, if I'm not moving, if I need milk. But I will say that it's pretty cool and it's the future. Yes, I totally agree. I mean, it's all about efficiency and making your life easier. But on the other side, like, you know, you have AI and a lot of people are scared what's going to happen since Computing is thinking over the world, and in, and all the all the gadgets are getting smarter and smarter. So, what do you think is going to happen? What is your perspective on AR? Are you scared of the AI invasion in a way? Well, I will say that you can watch some series now that they are focused on AI, and you see how the people is going to behave, and you think like Black Mirror, no? That series that is. It's true that we are going in that way, but at the end, I mean, the people, they need it. And if you try now to get the mobile off from all the people, I'm pretty sure that you cannot do it. At the end, we have created a need for them. They have this need to have connectivity everywhere. And I will say that will be a scary because who is going to win? Machines or humans? I don't know, but... Well, we have the CEO of Tesla, no? That he said, hey, be careful with the AI. That can be quite scary. Yeah, I have to, if I have to be honest, I trust Elon Musk on this. But at the same time, it's exciting and scary at the same time. And it's, it's, it's the way things are. It, it depends on us whether they're going to win over or not. We will win. Always. We will win, always, because we will have the capacity to say, OK, I'll still destroy it, no? Like the movies, let's destroy it. I trust you on this one. Um, one, one last question from my side is, uh, if you have to choose a superhero, who would that be? Well, I will say that both of us, we are red today. 
we could get some superhero in red. You like Spider-Man, Daredevil, which one do you like more? Honestly, Deadpool. Ah, uh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks for being with us on Pop-Up Tech Talks. Until the next time. <laughs>